All right, hello. Today is 8 June, new calendar. 26 June, old calendar, 2024. It's Saturday. And it's about uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon getting there. And uh, not yet, but it's getting there. And we just got, a, we finally got a phone call from the hospital. Uh, we've been waiting since yesterday. They, um, and we had to initiate that. Um, they're still trying to work out the logistics of trying to get him in there today to start his treatment and admit him. For three days of steroids and start on his chemo, not chemo treatment. Um, the medical reports that we read online but we're not talked to about. Uh, we got access to the labs before they could talk to us. Um, say that he has tumors all over in his head and his torso and uh, that they've grown quite a bit since they scanned him the first time on Memorial Day. They've grown about a centimeter, uh, some of them. So, um, I think on the Memorial Day, they only scanned the one in the hip, really, but uh, down in the lower right quadrant, that was the main one, but there's other ones. Uh, it's got one in his sinuses, too. So, uh, his liver's got lesions on it, and it's also struggling. So we're working on all that. Now, everybody's got their own stress management techniques. Um, I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, but first, uh, we had a sensitive conversation this morning. It's very difficult to get an 11 year old to understand that his diet needs to change. He's used to eating uh, processed junk food just like most other kids his age. And he has a very picky palate, uh, which kind of runs in the family on both sides. I don't have one, but he does. I'm more like a bully goat. I can eat anything. <clears throat> He's very particular. So this creates a problem because uh, sugars and processed foods uh, feed the cancer and healthy proteins and fats and vegetables and whole foods fruits if he's going to eat fruits and berries uh, fight the cancer starve it kill it well he doesn't need a lot of that um, he eats some of that but not not he doesn't the only vegetable he likes is broccoli and uh, the only fruit he likes is juice, mostly. I mean, he'll eat strawberries and blueberries, but he, it, it's gonna have to be a, a daily thing now, so. Can't force him to eat, can't force him not to eat. Fasting would be very good for him, 48 hours of fasting, or at least 24 hours uh, once in a while, a couple days a week. But I don't see that happening unless he's just not hungry because he's sick. So that didn't go very well, but it went well enough to get by. So he got the, he got the gist of it, and then I backed it up with a Harvard doctor uh, video and another educational video on the ten top ten foods to fight cancer, which are things like garlic and stuff. Um, okay, stress management. So he prefers to play video games and watch uh, hypnotizing shorts, you know, TikTok videos and YouTube videos and that sort of thing, the short ones. Um, I'm not a big fan of that because I think it hijacks the brain. It's not a very quality way to spend your time. But um, my stress management is to uh, read the Bible and the saints and pray and meditate and exercise. So I hope to go for a long walk today. I'd like to do 10 miles. I got kind of chewed on the other day when I tried to go 10 miles because I was going for two hours but um, it's a very healthy thing to do every day if not every day at least three days a week and then the early church saints uh, the desert fathers they would uh, of course be tempted by demonic thoughts and temptations and they would imitate Jesus when he was tempted by the devil and answer those temptations with Bible verses, scriptures. 
And so that's what I did yesterday. I went through the different feelings I have and the different things I need in order to help me get through this, the traits, the virtues. And um, I had chat GPT or whatever it's called help me figure that out. And uh, it came up with some really good ones. So I'm going to read those for my family and my son and grandchildren. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Acts 3.19 Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Romans 12.12 12. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6-7 It helps to meditate on these and memorize them, because these kinds of struggles are going to come up repeatedly in life. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Hebrews 10, 24-25. The day is referring to Judgment Day. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and, stri and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3, 13 through 14. So Christians, you know, we're supposed to live in the moment with God, but we're also supposed to set realistic, rational goals, good goals, and strive for them. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Philippians 4, 8. So, the thoughts have a tendency to try to track off into negative directions, and that's a very helpful one for me. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who fail or falls and has no one to help them up. Ecclesiastes 4, 9-10 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. Jeremiah 29, 11 A new command I give you, Love one another, as I have loved you, so you must love one another. John thirteen thirty four. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Philippians four thirteen. But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. Romans eight twenty five. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. Jeremiah seventeen fourteen. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. First Thessalonians five sixteen through eighteen. Go to the ant, you sluggard, consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, no overseer or ruler, yet it stores its provisions in summer and gathers its food at harvest. Proverbs 6, 6 through 8. This is referring, this is a multiple layered thing. This is, all, this is not only physical in preparing for rainy days like what we're going through, uh, hard times, wars, collapses of economies, uh, whatever, injuries, loss of jobs. Prepare and work and prepare and set aside and get ready for those hard times but it's also a spiritual issue uh, when things get hard and you're burned out and tired you tend to want to be lazy and vegetate and just 
block the world out and hypnotize yourself with television and video games. I'm guilty of this sometimes myself. But is that really the best use of your mind and energy? It's despondency, it's laziness. It's If you're going to watch TV, at least pray while you do it. Uh, if you're going to relax, at least meditate and pray while you do it. Uh, work towards purifying yourself and living for Christ, living for God. And prepare for the harvest, which is death and eternal life. Now, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Hebrews 11.1 1. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will He harbor His anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve, or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is His love for those who fear Him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as He removed our transgressions from us. Psalm 103, 8-12 Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Matthew 28, 19-20 Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Matthew eleven twenty eight to thirty. So that's just a little snapshot of a healthy exercise to engage in regularly in your journal um, as you're struggling with your day to day life. Just get in the habit of looking for those kinds of nuggets, gems, and. Write them on your heart, memorize them, and whenever you're going through those hard times, it's very helpful to redirect your mind from negative, pessimistic thinking to those promises of, of God. So, pray for me, a sinner. God bless. Over and out.